about going on a little road trip to one of the most famous town-wide flea markets of Washington State that's been going on forever that I have never been to. Plus, let's enjoy some beautiful sunshine and a nice leisurely day and of course, a huge vintage haul at the end. Amongst all the things that I do, I think the thing that takes the most mental bandwidth is listing. And so literally I list for three to sometimes four days and then I have to take a break. And so I make sure to do things that are enjoyable and good for me, like taking long walks and going to the farmer's market and even doing a little bit of thrifting. So come along because this was just really a nice leisurely day. But you and I we talk of solutions. We'll push till the sunshine returns and wrestle with fire that burns. And know that we'll each take in turns to wrap up the other in blissful forgiveness and watch as the sunshine returns. Cause you and I both know the solar eclipse. It only happens on phones and when we're together and we can make love and I hear your exquisite moans and take in your wondrous tones and breathe in the essence of why we exist and please each other once more but you and I we talk of solutions we'll push till the sunshine returns and wrestle with fire that burns and know that we'll each take in turns Shoulder the blame and capture the future and wrap it up safe as a bird whose cage is a wonderful home with all that it needs to exist and to prosper and it will never need to go and we will just move to and fro. I decided I wanted to head to the farmer's market and then to lunch. I have to say organic is definitely more expensive, but I justify it knowing that I only eat once a day, I'm only one person, and it does help support small farmers, and to me, that is a great thing. To carry the wind as it blows, look through the windows we own, to cry into night times alone, to find us a wonderful it is still early as farmer markets go, but look at all these wonderful herbs. I was so tempted to get a bunch of them, but I did wind up at least getting one basil plant because I love caprese salads in the summer. The side of my heart exhausted, especially when we fight. How do I make this right? Stems from a fabulous love, a hand that's lost in a glove. The shadows that fall are masking the joy and blinding our amorous eyes. But you and I, we talk of solutions. We'll push till the sunshine returns and wrestle with fire that burns. And know that we'll each take in turns to wrap up the other. To finish off my deck, I decided to grab a bunch of annuals to add some pops of color to my existing pots. The weather was absolutely gorgeous and I needed a break from work and so this was the perfect activity.
So the other day I had the pleasure of having tea time with uh, Kelly, who owns a bunch of booths along with her husband. Um, and the name of her business is Rustic Hippo, which is so fun. But she reminded me that this weekend is the Packwood Flea Market. This is a big event out in the middle of nowhere, which is probably why I have never gone to it. Um, but you know, I was talking to her and I'm like, man, last weekend was really not good for sourcing. Anyways, I'm like, what is stopping me from just making a reservation, packing a bag and enjoying the wonderful weather that we're having right now and you know enjoying the countryside because again it's like two hours away to get to Packwood like literally it's at the foot of Mount Rainier um, but it is a beautiful drive that is true and so anyways and um, I'm gonna stop by another little town I'd like to go to Centralia which has some good antique stores there so I'm gonna stop and see what I can find My first stop was A. Livia's Attic, which is funny because my youngest sister's name is Olivia. And I have actually scored some great items at this particular antique store. And today was no different. I found this cute little frog. I think it's a bonsai um, pot and these little hands are always really popular they're so cottage core they only wanted ten dollars for this ladder but unfortunately i did not have a need for one make sure you stay till the end for the ultimate vintage haul because i bought so much stuff I am always on the lookout for clocks and I love this like tin metal clock and it was only five dollars. It's so worth it to shop at antique malls because you're you just never know what you're gonna find. And I would just kill to have that cheese and crepes for my store. <laughs> I'm also always on the hunt for little atomic cats that have kind of a 60s retro vibe and these hit the spot. They were $11.95 which is a little spendy for resale but I did buy them and I think I have them listed at $33 online. So that was fun and I actually found some good items, not a ton, but a few.
almost seven o'clock. I haven't even made it to the cabin I'm staying at. Instead, I drove into town and I noticed that all the vendors were uh, just open. It's not like it's in a fairground where there's fences and they have a very strict opening time. Instead, there was just tents everywhere and people are hanging out at their tents and a lot of people are staying like right behind their tents and RVs and vans. And so I had to take advantage. So I did a ton of shopping and I met up with Kelly and Kurt to have some dinner. That was really nice. Kurt bought me dinner. Thanks, Kurt. All right, this is going to be my little home away from home. So here's the little cabin. It's cute. Very cozy. Here's the bedroom. Cozy. Right. I need to unpack my car and bring all my stuff in. and I'm heading to town, which is just a couple miles away. And um, I slept like a baby. Honestly, since I gave up sugar and flour, I have been sleeping better than I have in my whole life. I mean, I fall asleep without anything, without, uh, I was taking magnesium and I've taken, I mean, everything you can think of, I've taken. Um, to help me sleep and I have not needed that and I sleep really deeply and I wake up early I'm still kind of like not a morning person but this has been so nice and I never thought giving up sugar and flour would have this effect or I probably would have tried doing that a long time ago still closed. I think the official opening time is nine o'clock and it's only eight. So I don't know. I may have stop and have some breakfast. I think that sounds good. So, so far I have been finding some good treasures, but I have had to look kind of far and wide because this is definitely more like a vintage antique flea market rather than garage selling prices and so here's a couple of pro tips number one when I find myself in this kind of pricing venue what I do is I look for a booth or a vendor whose prices are actually really good with margin for resale and then I will just shop that booth and buy as much stuff as possible and then for the rest I negotiate and usually you can get away with asking them to lower the price by 30%. So far, some have negotiated back, but most have taken my offer, um, which has been like 30% less than the marked price. So that's my strategy. Another little pro tip for you. So um, I always carry a little baggie like this and it has, I need to switch this one out. This has been in here forever. It's got a little bit of baking soda and some Q-tips. And basically um, I use them to test Bakelite. So I found these two bangles and what you do is you just um, wet down the end of a Q-tip and then you rub it up against the bangle like this, right? And if it comes back 
yellow like that, it is Bakelite. So I had a question about both of these on whether they were Bakelite or not. They are, so I'm super excited that they both tested positive. <laughs> I picked up this shiny bright box of ornaments for $15, mostly because that box was intact and these comp really well online. I also really like these two wooden figurines, especially the nudie, except I didn't buy them and now I'm kicking myself. But I did get this gorgeous set of marble bookends with the acorns on them. They're so beautiful. I paid $10 and they're going to my Americana booth. I loved that display and she had a bunch of purses. I picked this one up for $15. And then I grab these gorgeous lanterns that remind me of Cinderella's carriage and they were only $15 for the set. So I'm packed up and heading out of the cozy little cabin I stayed in and out of Packwood. Uh, and it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's only, it's supposed to be overcast today, but the sun is out and I'm actually in a summer dress. So imagine that. So if you're new here, my name is Abigail. I have a couple of vintage booths in Seattle, Washington. I have a vintage and antique store in Poulsville, Washington. I sell on almost all the major platforms and I also have an Instagram account and I post content every day. I also have a coupon code for my Etsy and eBay shops for my Instagram followers and YouTube subscribers. It saves you 15% on all your purchases and it is love it, buy it. And if you ever need to get a hold of me, you just click that first little part of the description down below and it will open up a whole big page of all kinds of information, including my info on that's in Linktree. I got this cute little carved Indian side table, or you could use it as a plant stand at a junk store on the way to Packwood for only, I think it was $10. And this absolutely stunning solid wood planter. It has a copper insert and all that copper and brass inlay. And I got that for $15. I got this lamp for $5. And it is very in style right now. That Chouinazerie decor style is all the rage. And it's so beautiful. I got this whole pile of cigar silk flags for $10. There was a total of 35, 35 of them and they already sold on eBay for $85. So that was a really good score. I was very intrigued with this. It is a Phantom of the Opera. It's got signatures down below. It actually comps, I think, for a hundred up to $150. I have it listed, I think, for $110 or $115. And then this absolutely gorgeous Serape, I paid $5 for this at a garage sale on my way out of Packwood. Absolutely love this piece. Plus, I'm Mexican. This cute little deer, I got at an antique store in Centralia. I think I paid $8 for it. It is so cute. And I paid $4 for this little green cactus planter. And $8 for this little deer vase. It seems like deer and brass were really a big 
kind of finds for the uh, for this particular pick. These are so cute. I paid up for these. I paid $12. They're salt and pepper shakers. And then this planter was just adorable. I want to say I paid either $4 or $7 for it, but it's got frogs and mushrooms. And then this I paid $8 for. I love Cupid Awake and Cupid Asleep is what this series is called. And I have this in the store for $35. And I love this 1980s touch lamp. And I think I paid $5 for that. And all of these brass candlestick holders were amazing. I only paid a dollar a piece for these. These ones I paid a little bit more for their gongs with a little wood stick. And really, I was surprised that they comp for $50 to $85 and up. I picked up this whole pile of brass animals and some more for only $3 per animal. And I found these at a garage sale on the way to Packwood. I can't even tell you where I found these ones, but they are absolutely stunning. One of the screws, at, one of the tops actually came unscrewed, but I have the screw and the top. And my gosh, I can't even tell you what I paid for, but I wanna say $5. And then this is such a beautiful piece. I mean, that it's actually not even a canvas or a board. It's all one piece. And then somebody painted this uh, vase with these beautiful poppies. It is so sweet and it already sold. Kurt and Kelly turned me on to this piece. It looks very much like a James Ma ice bucket from the 1960s, a very mid-century modern Asian. Look, you can even see the age. They gave me such good directions. I found out where it was and I only paid $25 for it. So I was super excited. And I think it looks fabulous in the store. It is also listed online. I cannot remember what I listed it for. I wanna say it was 25. Here's some more critters. I actually paid $10 for that little frog because I had to have it. So cute. They're also both listed online and they're also hanging out at the store. Well, I hope you enjoyed that fun adventure. I certainly enjoyed taking you with me. And if you get a chance to get out and do some thrifting, I certainly hope the thrifting gods will be with you and you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you on the next video.